Hi, you might have heard the term PT, CVT and CCVT interchangeably in a substation. The ultimate goal of PT, CVT and CCVT is the same, that is voltage transformation to a safe lower value. So what's the difference between these transformers? In this video, we will explain the working of PT, CVT and CCVT and the difference between them. We know that high voltages in substations cannot be mired directly and also cannot be fed to relays and meters etc. So potential transformer basically converts these high voltages to a safe value which is normally 110 volts which can be then fed to meters and relays for measurement and protection purpose respectively. We know that there are four major components of a potential transformer that is core, primary winding, secondary winding and insulation. As the primary voltage level of the system increases, we need a bigger size of potential transformer to step down the voltage effectively. With increasing voltage level, the size of magnetic core of potential transformer will increase. With high core size, the core losses and iron losses will also be increased. The insulation required on core will increase as well. Similarly, the outer porcelain insulation will also be increased. While this increase in core losses and insulation level is affordable till a certain voltage level, it cannot be increased indefinitely. Beyond a certain voltage level, the higher size of PT is not feasible due to technical challenges in terms of higher core losses and economical challenges due to high PT size and subsequently higher level of required insulation. PTs can normally be used for voltage levels up to 132 kV or 220 kV. So, does it mean that we have to limit the design of our higher voltage power systems to 220 kV only? Obviously not. We have higher voltage power systems in use in the range of 380 kV, 500 kV, 765 kV and even above. So then how we measure voltages of these high power systems and how we feed such high voltages to protection relays if we can't use PT? The answer is capacitive voltage transformer or simply CVT. Similar to a potential transformer, capacitive voltage transformer is also a step down transformer. It transforms the extra high voltages to a safer lower voltage that can then be fed to relays and meters etc. The basic difference between a PT and CVT is their working principle. PT works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, whereas the working of CVT is based on the principle of voltage division and electromagnetic induction. CVT consists of four main sections that is capacitive potential divider, auxiliary electromagnetic transformer, inductive element and ferro-resident damping circuit. All of these sections are utilized together to step down the extra high voltages to a safe lower level efficiently. Now we explain the working of CVT with the help of connection diagram. The extra high voltages are first stepped down using the capacitive potential divider. The output medium voltage is then further stepped down easily with the help of auxiliary electromagnetic transformer. The capacitive potential divider consists of a group of capacitors. The number of capacitors depend upon the voltage level. We consider the case of two capacitors. This potential divider circuit is connected to the main high voltage line whose voltage is to be measured or controlled. We suppose the capacitors to be C1 and C2. The value of C1 is selected as much higher than that of C2. As we know that the impedance set is equal to 1 or C omega, where omega is the angular frequency. So the impedance of C1 will be very low because of high value of C1. Resultantly the voltage drop across C1 will also be low. Let's call the line voltage which we want to measure as VL. So the output voltage across the capacitor C1 as per voltage divider principle will be V is equal to C2 divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied by VL. As we know that the value of C1 is chosen to be much higher than that of C2, so C2 divided by C1 plus C2 will be very small. Resultantly, the output voltage V across the capacitor C1 will be very small as compared to the line voltage VL, normally up to 20 kV. This output voltage is then passed on to the auxiliary electromagnetic transformer which will further step down the voltage to a safer value which is normally 110 volts. So the output voltage of potential divider will act as an input voltage to the auxiliary electromagnetic transformer. Let's call this voltage as VP 
because it acts as primary voltage to the auxiliary transformer. Here N1 and N2 are the number of turns on the primary and secondary side of the auxiliary transformer respectively. Let's call the secondary voltage of the auxiliary transformer as Vs. We know the basic transformer equation that is V secondary divided by V primary is equal to N2 by N1 or V secondary is equal to V primary multiplied by N2 by N1. So putting the value of Vp in the above equation, the value of Vs can be calculated. Ultimately, the line voltage Vl can be calculated from the given equation. So by measuring the secondary voltage Vs with a standard voltmeter, the voltmeter will multiply it with the given constants and give us the value of the line voltage Vl. The output voltage of the CVT Vs is either fed to a meter or relay. It is directly fed to the meter. However, for protection and control purposes, the voltage is first fed to an IC which is programmed according to the requirements and output of this IC is then fed to relays. But here meter will be a resistive load whereas the potential divider is capacitive. Therefore, there will be a phase shift which will affect the output voltage. To solve this problem, an inductor is placed in series with the auxiliary transformer. This inductor with inductance L will compensate the effect of capacitive phase shift. As in a capacitive voltage transformer CVT, capacitors are placed in series and shunned to the power system. These can result in resonant circuits and RC time constants. Due to the resonance of the circuit, the core of transformer may be saturated and can result in overheating and breakdown of insulation. Another drawback of resonance is that it can generate transients which are dangerous for the power system. So, a special arrangement must be made in CVT to eliminate this resonance. This arrangement is made in the form of a damping circuit. The damping circuit is connected in parallel to one of the secondary windings and it helps in elimination of unwanted resonance in the system. This damping circuit is known as ferro-resonant damping circuit. We have another type of voltage transformer that is CCVT which is abbreviation for coupling capacitor voltage transformer. The structure of CCVT is quite similar to that of a CVT just except for addition of a carrier coupling unit called as power line carrier communication or simply PLCC and wave trap. PLCC utilizes the existing high voltage power lines for transmission of data between substations or powerhouses. PLCC is coupled with high voltage power lines with the help of CVT. CVT contains a high frequency terminal for connecting PLCC equipment. However, PLCC uses very high frequencies in the range of 40 kHz to 500 kHz for transmission of different signals including speech, telemetry and protection tripping commands, whereas the frequency of power lines is normally 50 or 60 Hz. These high frequency signals must not enter into substation switchyard to avoid any interference with high power equipment. For this purpose a line trap or wave trap is installed near the connection point of CCVT. A wave trap is basically a low pass filter which passes the low frequency power voltage and stops or traps the high frequency PLCC signals from entering into substation yard therefore known as wave trap. So CVT combined with PLCC equipment and wave trap makes the CCVT. CCVT performs two functions. It transforms high voltages to low voltages for protection and metering purpose just like CVT and PT. Secondly, it couples PLCC equipment with high voltage power lines for telecommunication and teleprotection purposes. Hopefully the difference between PT, CVT and CCVT is clarified in this video. Keep in touch for more such videos.